next one, but it's trending all over. NFL host Carissa Thompson. She's very well known in the sports business, but she's getting a lot of heat. Why? Because she went on a sports podcast and was saying she would, quote, make up reports. So in case you didn't hear this, guys, we're going to play that sound from that podcast. Take a listen. I would make up the report sometimes because, A, the coach wouldn't come out at halftime or it was too late. And I was like, I didn't want to screw up the report. So I was like, I'm just going to make this up. So that was on Barstool Sports. I want to huh. get a little bit of context here. That's a casual sports show. It's not the first time that she has talked about this subject. She actually earlier was on um, her previous podcast with her partner in crime and best friend, legendary, you may know of this name, Aaron Andrews. And they were discussing this, uh, you know, making up reports earlier in their careers. Um, now, obviously, that you that runs the question or of begs the question of credibility as a journalist. And since then, both of them actually came out with statements. But Carissa came out with a statement. I think I believe we have that on her Instagram, saying that she never lied about anything, wasn't unethical. It just was a wrong choice of words. Aaron Andrews camp also kind of said the same thing, essentially saying they would use previous information in those reports. So I want to give you guys some context on this because I come from this background, being a former sideline reporter, not only with the Utah Jazz, but on a network level television. And what they're saying is exactly true, that it's not that they were lying or fabricating. It's not a matter of fabrication. They just used, she just used the wrong words, essentially, um, making up reports. So. It's really repurposing is what she meant to say. So it's she owned up to the fact that she used the wrong words and saying making up reports, right? Um, but when you look at it, a good example of this is if a coach gives you information pregame as to what that team needs to do on the, let's say the Jazz on the court, they really need to win the rebounding battle, but they're not doing that. You can look at halftime. If you can't get that coach, you can reference back to that earlier conversation. So that's not making up anything. It's just referencing back. So I think this is taken out of context to some degree because of the poor choice in wording. She didn't think it through. It's not thinking it through. And on these podcasts, you're just casual. You're sitting back. Carissa Thompson is always somebody who's very, uh, like, one of the guys and just says things and says things. Out. She's just, she's very honest. <laughs> but she did retract that. And I know that a lot of sideline reporters got really offended Personally, when you look back at that podcast, if you watch it, she credits the amount of work that goes into sideline reporting. She respects it. She did it for years. And you have all of this prep work in 20 seconds and 15 seconds to get it out. And if a coach doesn't show up, what do you do? So for the other sideline reporters, you mentioned that they were upset. What were they upset about? The fabrication and saying that basically you're, it's, a, it's a credibility thing. Well, oh, so you're basically saying that all of us are making up these reports or sideline reporters are making up these reports. Mm. But again, it, I, it's a taken out of context thing. It's more of a repurposing, like they said in those statements, of that information. So if you can't get a coach and they're, they're, you're go, they're going to you in a broadcast, third quarter, coming out of halftime, you have to have something to say. So reference what was said earlier in the hu in um, the huddles or pregame or at practice. That's still factual information as it pertains to the game. You may just not have word choice is everything. This is what it comes down to. Word choice is everything. And in, in, in today's media, where you are right. kind of always on, right? I mean, there's so many different platforms here. It's not just you know your standard newscast or something like that. This was more of an open-ended conversation about the profession, and and she left it very plain and simple. Just the word choice was right. what kind of got her words in trouble. And both of them, when I say both of them, Aaron Andrews also was a part of that discussion, as I mentioned on a previous podcast they had, about that earlier in their careers. But again, yes, like you said, Brian, word choice is everything. Um, but you can't take away her, the work that she did. It really, I mean, poor choice of words, but she's smart, she's brilliant. She gets all the information as it pertains to the game. You may just not have the information in that moment of what adjustments are you going to make right now in, in the pick and roll game or mm -hmm. you know, going to sports specific. But, Let's stay know. with sports here in Utah. Big yeah. announcement uh, over the last 24, 48 hours from Cam Rising. Let's move to Cam because if you're